text message said he will be asleep for this, and that's fine. School starts in three weeks. God, it's wild how fast the summer has flown by. I'm going to be taking a little trip to New York myself in the not-too-distant future for family shenanigans. <clears throat> Can I spoil what you missed in your bedroom? <coughs> you watching me? I mean, technically you are. But yes, you could, you could spoil what you found in my bedroom. A book of stupid walks. Oh, could I have been a silly walker? All right, Shaggy Dog Cave is the worst place on the planet. Never go there. Makes your character do silly walks. Monty Python style silly walks. I'm a little sad we didn't find that. You encounter an overturned wagon surrounded by ruined books and broken pairs of spectacles. Looks like a family of especially literate homesteaders met an untimely end here. Tragic. You pour through the detritus and manage to find exactly one book that is both undestroyed and remotely interesting. It's Modern Snake Oiler, issue 143. Thinks I've seen Joe do in your bed. He's very dexterous. Dude can bend. Meh. <laughs> Let's read that new book we got. We are a snake oiler after all. A new snake oiling skill, read. There's an article entitled Debilitating Toxins, Where Are They Now? It gives bad medicine a combat skill that reduces the target's moxie. A recipe for a quick brew potion that fortifies your body, mind, and spirit. It gives strong medicine, a combat skill that temporarily increases your muscle, miscality, and moxie. <laughs> and a recipe for a new kind of snake oil concoction that looks like it might come in handy in a fight. Good medicine, skill that lets you recover HP. Good, good medicine, please. You want to play this game for one reason? It's too white. Racist. I wonder if there is a dark mode for this game. Night mode. When you open your eyes again, it appears that someone's stolen your magazine. Scoundrel! Where's night mode? I want to say there's a tan mode. That'd be nice. Not seeing it, though. Colorblind mode on. <laughs> Still funny every time. Character options, options, speed, volume. I actually keep my my desktop monitor on a lower brightness, and even for me, this is still pretty pretty bright. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. The game's the game is not bright at all. Ooh, pry off the boards. Boards can't hide from your prying eyes or your prying crowbar. Someone needs to do estimation mark glasses, that way I put these on for an important reason. Nostalgia mode, does that make it tan? Either put on these glasses or start eating that trash can. Got it, buddy. You got it. Booze, medicine? Decent wine. You hear a sudden chattering coming from that big hole behind you. Should you flare it now before the weapon? No. No, but I, I didn't realize I only got one box. Must have a death wish standing this close to that thing. No way you're going back in there. I should have gotten some weapons. This door has like 15 deadbolts on it. The note tacked to it says, please don't open this door unless you want to get eaten by a giant spider. Even then, don't open it because the rest of us don't want to get eaten by a giant spider. It isn't even signed, so you can hardly be expected to take it seriously. The tunnel beyond this opening goes straight up. No way to get through it unless you're a huge spider. I'll just go ahead and open that door. What's the worst that could happen? You can see the gang on the other side of this big pile of junk, but you're not going to be able to get to them from this end. Maybe you had more legs to be able to pick your way through it. Oh, the sneaking animation's so slow. I 
I have regrets. Hear a horrible skittering noise, followed by a scream, followed by more horrible skittering noises, followed by more screams, followed by some rapping noises, followed by some muffled screams. Then there's more skittering, then silence. The gang has been prepped for spider consumption. Arrest them. Leave them for the spider. <laughs> Don't do anything just yet. I haven't decided. The danger bar? Looks like this place needs a bartender. Ooh, we got a jaw harp. All these bottles are empty. Alright, danger kitchen. This poor chef is chained to the wall. His eyes widen as you approach. Hey! You're not one of them! You, uh, here to rescue me? Uh, sure. Oh, thank goodness! He thrusts his hand in yours and shakes it vigorously. I'm Doug! Grizzly. How you do, Doug? I've been chained up in this dang cave for weeks! Cooking for those stripy-handed idiots! That sounds awful. Wanna well, know the worst part? There's a perfectly good eight feet to my right, and a shelf of perfectly good ingredients eight feet to my left! Uh... <coughs> How's it the worst part? <coughs> Chain's only four feet long! <coughs> It's bad when you gotta take out shades for the game. Any game with brightness is just like, ugh. Oh, I'm a I'm a man of the dark. I live in the night. I know, right? There it was, fresh out of culinary school with a million meat idea in my head. And now here I am, four feet shy of my dream, cooking the same pot of soup over and over again. What's your million meat idea? You uh promise not to steal my idea, right? Oh I promise. Okay then, it's a new kind of sandwich. Or maybe a taco. It's so revolutionary that I'm not quite sure where it fits in the whole hand food taxonomy, to be honest. You still have your Kingdom of Loathing character? Nice. Anyway, in the middle of it, there's a sausage, but it's a sausage made from the cheapest possible part of a pig. Ground up so finely you can't identify them anymore. Oh, okay. And it's served on a long split roll, which soaks up the grease so you can't tell how fatty the sausage is. Uh-huh. Best part? The name. You ready to hear the name? I call it the Hot Doug. What do you think? It sounds great. Thanks. Not that any of this even matters. Even if I did get this chain off of me, there's, there's no point in hanging around this empty cave. Making hot dogs for myself, I don't even like the taste of them. Sally, what's going on? You could set up shot in dirt water. Brilliant! You're a genius, Grizzly! Hot dogs for sale all day, every day. I'll bake a meat. So here's an idea. What if I added mint to the sausage? <laughs> Add a mint to the sausage. Please don't. Don't do that. The album breaks his chains and he leaves the cave, hauling the oven and the shelf full of greens, muttering himself on new sausage recipes. Where is Odin? He should be here. Sausage bit. What country is this? We're in the Wild West. Of somewhere. Wild West of somewhere. Alright, don't do anything yet. I want to see if I can get into the spider room again. Just... Just for... That bag of weapons. I want that bag of weapons. No, it's not fair. All right, I mean, I feel like I get get a reward if I arrest them. You stack the cocoons in the back of your horse, except for one which Alice carries in her medical bag. He was smaller than he looked, and head back to dirt water. Turn him in. She had to strap that gang. What happened to him? Oh, they had to run him with a giant spider. A giant spider of justice. Fortunately, the reward is for results rather than explanations. Thousand meat. We learned good medicine level two. Groovy. Oh, I didn't didn't mean to talk to you. Yet another wanted poster. Lots of criminals around here. Black hat bandit for horse theft and selling of counterfeit glue. Old Millery. All right, I'll take it. It's a good word. Millinery. 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 The Pot Potemkin Gang. 
unlicensed civil engineering and flooding of construction regulations. They're assessing an unregulated settlement north of Dirtwater. I'll check it out. You never got the ruthless character in your playthrough? Didn't even know you ha could do half the stuff you do. <laughs> I mean, that's the joy of these kind of games. Is it's always different each time. I'm gonna buy some flowers. Sweet smell of flowers. Yeehaw! All kinds of possibilities with these here games. Nearby cloud of dust. Oh, I'm so proud of you, Sally. Ever since you were but knee high, I knew you were destined for. Oh, it's way too bright to take off these glasses to punctuate my my statements. Even though these days I need my spectacles to see you, Sally, I don't need these to see how proud you make me. Keep going, kid. Keep going. A nearby cloud of dust turns out to be a bandit on a horse, riding hell for leather for unknown reasons. Well, I know them, but you don't. You pull up your horse alongside and match their speed. Hi, what's up? Where's the fire? Get best here! Get bent in or lost! <laughs> Trick her out of her boots. Listen, those nice boots of yours are getting covered with dust from all this hard riding. Fortunately, I'm running a horseback shoe shine. Horseback shoe shine? That's fun to say. But it don't make a lick of sense. Sure it does. You don't need boots when you're riding, so that's the perfect opportunity. Just two meat. I'll shine them up for you real nice. That's a pretty good deal. Okay. She reaches down and pulls off her boots <clears throat> and hands them to you. Whereupon you haul up your reins, wheeling your horse around and galloping away in the opposite direction. By the time the bandit realizes what has happened, it's far too late to catch up. Works every time. Do, 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 do. New boots. My brown boots are one maximum AP. What about these new boots? Ooh, plus two speed as well. High tail boots are on now. I just hit the auto explore button from Caves of Cut. <laughs> should we go and ask them what's going on? This guy should never be put in charge of a switch. He's too busy playing with his watch to get any work done. She's not getting much track laid, but she's an expert whistler. You approach the beleaguered looking man with the tiny glasses. Howdy there, who's in charge of this outfit? If I'm being charitable, I'd say the fellow over there in the white hat is the foreman. Boys, the man next to the huge pile of rocks. And if you're not, he smiles. Then I'd say that paperbacked idiot over there in the absurd white hat is the fellow you're looking for. All right, thanks. Hi, are you in charge? I was wondering if there's anything I could do to help. You want to know something? I love trains. Oh? Ever since I was a little boy, huge, magnificent, roaring iron beasts. They were magical to me, like dragons. When the opportunity arose to take on management of this rail line, I jumped on it like a shot. And you know what I've learned? What's that? Organizing and building and running one of these operations is the most amazing pain in the ass you'll ever will imagine. You want to help? Congratulations, you're the new foreman. I'm going home to play with my models. Swell. No, the hat, the hat comes with a job, right? I guess I'm the boss now? Well, I suppose you can be, it can't be any worse than the last clown. Name's Shmee, I'm your assistant. What's the situation? Well, I'm sure you didn't miss seeing this giant pile of rocks blocking our path. The surveyors say there isn't any other suitable mountain pass, so we can't reroute around it unless we have months Months! Any ideas? By my calculations, we could dynamite a clear without too much trouble. Problem is, it'll take a lot of dynamite. A whole year's worth. I figure uh, we used to keep that much on hand for emergencies, just such as this one. But a pack of goblins stole it, sneaky little varmints. All right, I'll get back for you. Glad to hear it. The goblins are holed up over in Gustava Gustavuson Gulch. It's a real rough place. You might want to spend some time getting the lay of the land and hone your fighting skills before you head that way. Especially if you plan on going in bl guns blazing. We don't need that specific dynamite, though. Any can lay your hands on it be fine, so long as there's enough of it. Boo -boo -doo -doo -boo. Let's go. Gustavus and Gulch. 
You see a streak of fire blast across the sky and land over the horizon. You ride to the site of the impact and find a meteor. You scour the area and find a whole bunch of meat. That was a meat meteor. A meat, a meteor. I get it. A fancily dressed goblin steps forward. Hello, being a mayor. Welcome. Now going away, please. This goblin seems friendly, but blocks the entry to the gulch. Talk to the goblin. Can I not coming in? Sorry, only for goblins being very private. Trick him. Hey, though, outside the gorge, I was seeing a thing you're liking a lot. Oh, what thing? What thing do you liking a lot? Pies? There are pies all over out there, being. This seems dubious, but would be neglectful being not to checking it out. Mayor takes a fork out of his pocket and leaves. Do do do. Winnie! Nothing interesting, a goblin. You hear a quiet rustling, as though a single goblin were rummaging through a crate filled with straw. Okay, we'll leave that alone for now. Library and goblin. It's quiet inside. The shack is filled with crude bookshelves. The bookshelves, in turn, are filled with crude books. Three titles catch your attention. So very complicated numbers. How to bird noise. Alice going into a seeing glass. Ooh. All right, chat. One, two, or three. What book are we going to learn something about? We're going to learn about so very complicated numbers. How to bird noise effectively. Or Alice going into a seeing glass. Two, how to bird noise. I can dig it. This book is an extremely detailed treaty on the sound that different birds make. Probably wouldn't expect to learn how to do an accurate great crested greb impression from a book. That's how detailed it is. Oh, we get to read all of them. Complicated numbers. All you can tell about this book is that it concerns extremely high-level mathematics. You know the vocabulary to understand any of it, and probably still wouldn't if it was written in English. Your brother would be proud and love it. Dingling, do you know where the sepia option is? This popular children's novel has been translated into the Goblin. Jabberwocky still reads pretty much the same. Oh. It brillig being in loves of slithering did in a wave grieving and also grumbling. How do I get to this option? Combat sounds, sound, music, horse, combat dialogue, control options. Do I have to go to main menu? Video options. Oh god. Ooh, adjust brightness does it. Oh, our retinas are saved, everybody. Our retinas are saved. I, w I, pref I would have preferred a, a sepia option uh, over just dimming it, but this seems to be our one choice. Do, 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 do. Why is there a colorblind mode? Do, 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 do. Like, if you click on it, it's just like, you never know. If you do find sepia, let me know. I, I would prefer sepia. Storage and goblin. Mayor's house and goblin. You have to unlock it in game. Well, hopefully we can do that. Treasure cave, the door to remaining locked at all times. Yeah, but I have lockpick. Come on, I'm a lockpicker. Guard barracks. You hear a bunch of gruff goblin voices. Cafe. Don't hear anything. Door is locked. Oh, I don't have any needles left. Theater. 
Okay. You hear somebody delivering what sounds like lines from Hamlet and Goblin Tongue. You also notice a sign next door reading backstage entrance here at B, with an arrow pointing to the back of the building. Backstage. You stick backstage and watch the play from behind a curtain. Not only is it a goblin version of Hamlet, it's also been rewritten as a one-man show. To being or not to being? Oh, that is a question. Could it better thinking to suffering a crazy things and arrows? Or fighting so many bad things for stopping them? Because fighting. Or to dying, to sleeping, to sleeping, hey! Dreaming maybe, but oh, problems! If dreaming crazy when leaving, what dreams having after dying? Wow, pretty weird, probably. You watch for a while. The bits where the actor has to do a sword fight with themselves are pretty entertaining. <laughs> Form is content. Thank you for that follow and welcome to the Shake the Box family. I'm very happy to have you. Have you played this game before? <laughs> Thank you for clipping that. Nice! Mayor's house. All right, let's check it out. This is the first Russian flavored goblin stream I've come across. <laughs> Thank you. <coughs> Excuse me. A bed and a desk. Investigate the desk. <coughs> the desk is strewn with folders. You notice one that says important secrets on it. Well, wow. read the important secrets. You learn a variety of secrets. Though the only one that's actually pertinent to your circumstances is that there's a spare key to the treasure cave in drawer 69105 in the storage hut. Nice. Sound like a Russian Christopher Walken. Red herring storage. I, mean, I want some red herrings. Here are a couple of goblins rustling around. They're doing something really important. We'll save fights for after we've uh, explored all the other ones. Alright, check it out. The shack is filled with thousands of tiny cabinets, each labeled with a number and goblin. All right, look in drawer 69105. Got the Gustavus and Gulch treasure cave key spare. And now we'll look in a random drawer. The Gulch goblin lollipop. A goblin sandwich. And goblin trousers. Really, it's drawer one, two, and three. All right, that was lucrative. Rats, the door's locked. Man, I wish I had more needles. I've already been in the library. Nothing interesting in Goblin. All right, back to the storage shit. <laughs> Sorry, did you say it may be made of Goblin? This is both a sandwich for Goblins and a sandwich where the meat... Yeah, it's made of Goblins, all right. Plus three, armor, minus two, moxie. What am I currently wearing? Bean stained pants. Plus three, spell damage. Goblins and being industrious. Goblins and being industrious. Very good, yes. Storage? Do, 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 do. Hey, uh. We're all friends here, right, goblins? The goblin is paying more attention to their book, Goblet, than to you, but you're pretty sure you aren't going to be waltzing on by. Spoil the ending. Hey, goblin, good book. What thinking about how Goratio is only surviving one at the <laughs> surviving one at the end? Everyone else dying, poisoning, sorting, pow bam. Ah no! What spoilers? <laughs> Yay! This goblin guard is whittling a little wooden bird call, but they're not too busy to beat you up if you try to get past them. Try out your new bird call skills. You duck behind a stalagmite, and you're, you do your best Great Crested Grib impression. Oh, gasp! A Great Crested Grib! Wow! He pulls out a pair of binoculars out of his uniform and runs out of the cave. Unlike the other two guards, this one's being very attentive and seems very suspicious of you. Also, unlike the other two guards, they have a name tag that says G. Why are they suddenly Scottish? These are different goblins. Fight them. Alright, we can do 15 to 16 damage. 1 damage. 10 damage, 2 poison. Bonus snake. Heal myself with good medicine. 
15! Wow, that's a good heal we now have. He has 85 health. <laughs> that's not a skeleton. Oh, sweet Jesus! Oh no, that's a big hit! I should have changed weapons to my poison gun. I didn't realize he was like a boss goblin. Fifteen to sixteen damage on target and poison them, one on your turn. Heal your target for fifteen, recover ten. <gasps> Sleep well, Mona. Sleep well. Name tags are reserved for boss goblins. I should have known. Gotta use all my skills. Enjoy more poison. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. This is where I accidentally healed the goblin. <laughs> Mysticality level four. No, no, come on, I need needles. 1,300 and something meats. Year supply of dynamite. Oh, come on. All right. Everybody keep deep in your minds that we have two unopened treasure chests at the goblin place. God damn it. Gruff goblin voices. <laughs> I mean, I'll just leave them alone. If they're as tough as that goblin was. There's literal needles, I know, and like the houses are made of needles. Already been to the mayor's house, red herring storage. Interrupt. Wizard goblins? My, my, my. Bang. Bang, bang. Alright, we could take these guys. Cactusi. Those sexy cactuses. I want to see my new medicine ability. Oh, it's not bad. Where's Cactus Cuddle Party? They may have gone to bed. Stab him with a knife! Yeehaw! Skill up grit level four! You look around the building, but it's just filled with rotten fish. Rats. Boop, 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 boop. Doors locked. God, so many things to lockpick here. All right, let's go beat up whoever's rummaging around. 45 health. Definitely go for a poison. Attrition will be important with that much health. That's why they're wizards. Bang! Never mind, he wasn't that strong. Dig through the crates, Scotland's rummaging through, but there's nothing interesting. Rats! No! What's left? Delicatessen. Alright, Delicatessen's locked. There's just the barracks left. I guess I could, I could fight whoever's in the barracks. We could probably take it. We can handle it, probably, maybe. Yeah. 
three of them. Okay, that might be 40 health. 45. It's a little concerning. Muscle six, muscle 13, muscle six. Yeah, we're gonna poison you. Gotta remove someone from the equation. Five is fine, seven's fine. Yeah, 12 is a little bit higher. 21 health on him. 15 to 16 damage. Bang, bang! Stop throwing rocks at me! Or pancakes. Pancakes. Convenience. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. Here comes another flapjack. Alright, she's a little worse for wear. 12 hit points on you, 20 on you. I'll remove you. No, I wanted to heal yourself! Alice, no! Get down, Alice! Oh! She got down all right, but the wrong time getting down. Well, stab him with a knife, teach him a lesson. That's what happens. Glamour level five, goblin sandwich, goblin pistol. Okay. All right, goblin pistol, what do you do for me? My desert gang six shooter. Plus one moxie. Damage six to seven. One to fifteen. So like three to four damage, four to five damage. Six to seven, but like... Oh, that low end. Obviously I gotta use it. But orcs! More Daka! More Daka. Bring the Daka. Everything here is locked. This is the worst. Alright, pretty sure there's nothing left for me to interact with here outside of lock stuff, which is frustrating. Let's go solve the railroad. Campsite off in the distance. Destroyed campsite. Go there now. No! No, Jesus God, it's so far away from where I was going. I figured we'd be close to where we were. All right, some potted meat. Knapsack is a knife sheath strapped to the uh, side, but you don't see a knife anywhere. Campfire. Looks like a whole herd of cows stomped this down. Oh, used to be a person? Investigate. Uh, diagnosis, Doc? Cause of death hit by a freight train. Only tracks us here, cow tracks. Could have been cows, I suppose. Leg missing, though. Cows aren't meat eaters. Well, neither are trains. Oh, dang it. All right, well, let's follow the tracks. You follow the cow tracks for a hundred yards or so, after which they stop suddenly. Nothing else of interest nearby. Well, dang. Discover a new map location. Dynamite Dance Discount Dynamite Dare House. Go there now. <laughs> you have one of these. Dynamite! One year! Is stenciled on the crate in an official looking typeface. Well, I already have a year's supply of dynamite. We've been spending your XP. I let the game auto level me. Do, 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 do. Unless I shouldn't be doing that. Bop, bop, 
Off to the side of the trail, you spot one of those weird cacti that produces sealed cans of tuna fish as fruit. What a world! Here you go. Any luck finding that year spot dynamite? Pastor's getting mighty restless. Oh, you stopped and you forget to level your character. That's why I was like, you know what? You just do it. Good, perfect. This will do the trick just fine. Hang back for a bit while I get the fellas to set the charges and I'll let you do the honors. All right, let her rip. Kablooey. Survey a student saying about a crazy rock monster. Quick, give the protagonist do something about it. This is a very large and angry looking thing. Guy standing here? Apparently he's a little peeved at having a year supply of dynamite blown up next to his butt while I was sleeping. How are you going to handle this one? Well, the fight it is. That's a lot of health. I don't think we can win this fight. Although with enough poison, maybe. Yeah, that hurt a lot. Glug, glug, glug. Good Lord. If I just reach into a spittoon, that might tell him a lesson. I did buy all that dynamite. Should've just done this to start. Little Crow! Leave him because of work! Well, thanks for stopping in to say hi. Use a lot of resources to do that, though. Gumption level four! Well, now that's a fine day's work as I've ever seen. Much obliged, friend. We'll be getting the rest of this track laid down and head out now. Here, I'll mark out right on their map for you if your pads ever happen to cross again. Thanks, can I just ride on the train? Have you got a ticket? Haha, <laughs> just kidding, of course you don't. Every single train sold out. Sorry, boss. Bye. Do, 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 do. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, Crow Stream more. I'm just looking for hay bales. Ooh, in seven hours you're gonna do it. Yeah, I'll be asleep in seven hours. I will only have just gotten to sleep a couple of hours before then. Time zones. It's an empty relic case with a spot for a pelvis, with a spot for a finger bone, with a spot for a skull. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness! What's wrong, sister? They came back! They came back and took them! I couldn't stop them! Whoa, well, slow down, what happened? Our holy relics! The saints just stormed out of the catacombs and took them! Wow. I don't know what to do. I thought maybe they'd fire me if I tried to stop them. The card will be here any minute, what am I gonna do? Alright, to start, take a deep breath and calm down. 
What's your name? Oh, Sister Mary. My name's Grizzly. Now, what's this? What's this about saints? Our mission's uh, mission is to protect these three sacred relics. I'm the relic keeper. It's my specific job to look after them. Wait. Do they know? Do they call you Memento? Me? She shows you the ruler. She keeps it tucked under her sleeve. No, they do not. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Memento Mary? The saints. Oh, it's too horrible. They just came to life somehow. They came up in the catacombs, all skeletal and ghastly looking. I mean, it's probably blasphemy to say this, but they nearly fainted. Catholics PTSD. <laughs> and they took back the relics? Yes. And if they aren't recovered before the Cardinal gets here, I'll be in so much trouble. How much time is there? Well, actually, he's months overdue, so it's probably not that urgent, but still. All right, I'll get them back for you. Burns. It's because we, we spun the wheel to play this game. It has happened. This is how we got here. I mean, probably. Oh, wait. Wait a second. You're going to have to fight them to get the relics back? That'd be so blasphemous. <laughs> spin the wheel for Crow. It'll be placebo spin. Just so you know, this isn't a real spin, everybody. This is a placebo spin. This is just to make, make Crow feel better, all right? Here we go. You know, nice placebo spin for you. Here it goes. I'm gonna forget to remove this from the, the YouTube VOD. This is just gonna be in there. In an alternate timeline, we would have been playing Children of Mordor. That's slow end there. Wow! <laughs> okay, now I'm going to work. All right, have fun. <laughs> I'm gonna play Shadows Over Loathing. I don't have Shadows Over Loathing. If I ever get it, though, we'll definitely check it out. I'm much more of a Lovecraftian person than I am a Western person. I mean, probably I'll have to fight them, but if black magic brought them to life, that's just super blasphemous, right? So it evens out. Oh dear, the Cardinal's going to want to have a very angry talk about this. But go ahead and do what you must, I suppose. You're not a priest, so you shouldn't mess with this stuff. Pew, pew, pew. Good luck down there. Coffin looks like it was hauled down here fairly recently. It's empty, curious. It's a precariously balanced pyramid of skulls, and they're all riled up and twitching. Kick them. Are you sure? There's a lot of them, and they're really mad. Maybe angering all of them at once isn't a great idea. <laughs> the skull has a gold tooth, take it. The skull's twitching in an unnerving fashion. Though I guess there's no way it could be twitching that wouldn't be unnerving. Fight it. Let's see how tough one skeleton is. Spooky damage. Alright, Moxie level 7, a gold tooth. Alright, the skull's sitting at a weird angle. Guess there's, it's notable. Let's look underneath it. You got a souvenir spoon. I know a butt plug when I see one. You can't fool me with that silhouette. Resting atop a commemorative spoon. Sure it was. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You, 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 sure. A sounding rod. That's what I call my butt plugs. Sounding rods. It's one of those collect- Oh wait, you mean the other kind of sounding rod. No, bad! One of those collectible pewter spoons you get from going through the gift shops. Item goes in your offhand. Plus three moxie. I think I like my filthy porcelain cow, which gives me three melee attack and three spell damage. Skull's whispering. All right. I'm a snake oiler, St. Clair. Did I already post the butt harp short story in Discord? I don't know. Maybe, but I think not. Probably best to post it just in case. Skull's whispering. Doesn't seem right. It just sounds like gibberish. Really creepy gibberish. It's an empty alcove. There's a little serial number written below it. Oh, hey, this is where that skull you found goes. Put it back. Muscle level five. Safe and sound. 
This pile of skulls has been cemented together for some reason. Oh, well, I don't have a pickaxe. Bones are jiggling and rattling in an agitated way. Alrighty then. What are you doing over there? Is that like Paizuri, but with two skulls? Oh, it's skull boxing gloves! I thought it was a very inappropriate gesture. Everyone hits me in the dick, it's so mean. Alright, skeleton bone. Alice picks up a bone and examines it carefully. Pile of skulls is strictly decorative. This way to the Pasillo de Santo. It's a plaque. Here lies Saint Beefus. After he died, his body kept trying to rise to heaven, but it was so heavy it just kind of flopped around a bunch. They had to inter him in a big stone sarcophagus, but a stop to it. It could be both. Gross! The remains of some kind- wait, no, I wasn't done reading it. And now I'm in this room. The saint appears to be resting in pieces. Mythicality level 10. Here lies Saint... Sorry, here lies Santa Cortada, drawn and courted by heretics, and then the quarters that had her head on it were beheaded. Dismembered was so effective that nobody was able to get her body to stay together, even after she was just bones. Spooky. Here lies Saint Pope. He was excommunicated for impersonating a pope, but there was some kind of bureaucratic issue, so they weren't able to unbeatify, unbeatify him. I am a pope. Seriously. Saint Pope stands beatifically behind the dais. He keeps doing his Pope gestures, ignoring you. How can someone look so smug without even having a face? The longer you watch them, the more it gets in your nerves. Insult him. You unleash a torrent of insults that would make a sailor blush, and the sailor's mother is shamed of a sailor. The Saint's Pope's eyes narrow, which is hard to do when he's just a skull. Looks like you finally managed to make him mad enough to fight you. Uh-oh. Okay, that's not too bad. Immune to poison! That's actually quite bad, then. I feel like if we kill the Pope, we're, we're better off. Oh, that's bad. And another one. Oh, sweet Jesus. Don't kill me, please. Woof. That was close. We got to buy more dynamite. Oh no, we still have to fight the Cardinals? I really thought we just had to kill the Pope. Oh, no, no, no. You gain the effect angry. Brush yourself off. You could end up working for Twitch advertising? We'll finally have a man on the inside. Be so angry. All right, Pope was rough. Turns out we have to deal with the ads. Geez, they really knew how to build a heavy stone sarcophagus back in the day. You grunt and strain and force the heavy stone sarcophagus lid open. There's a skeleton inside. Holy crap, his bones are huge! He appears to be asleep. Wake him up. All hail St. Beefus. Beavis is easy, comparatively. Yeehaw! Mysticality up level 5! 
St. Beavis' finger, St. Beavis' thigh. Alice surveys the seat and notes down some stuff. Plus two muscle, ten maximum HP. Damage nine to eleven. Beavis' his finger? Oh, we get to keep this, huh? Oh, <laughs> big boner. And now I can reassemble it! I got the mysticality up! Pretty sure you got the bones assembled correctly. Nope, at the very last minute the bones fly apart. Seems like all you caught was making them angry. Okay, very interesting. Probably the skull we want to take down. Oh my god, wait! Bone saw. Bone saw. She has an instant kill for bones. It's behind my head. Hold on, I could switch sides. And then also move a little bit over. This is probably the best location for me. Magic. Bonesaw. No, not Bonesaw. That one. No, I just wanted to say Bonesaw's ready. Oh god, there's still so many skeleton parts. Whatever, she could just take one down each turn, that'll be fine. I'll just heal myself. Bone saw's ready. Yeah, just just pull aggro up there, buddy. We could just kill the Pope with her bone saw. I, I I was completely sleeping on that. Thank God we have her as a partner. We just kill the Pope with the bone saw. Super easy. They only attack him, even though he's worthless comparatively. Well, let's go kill the Pope in one move. I wish I had done this the first time we saw the Pope. Yeehaw! Moxie level 8, Santa Cortada's skull, Santa Cortada's ring. Al surveys the scene and jots some notes down. Oh, she's become stronger. Faster. Better than before. Hello, Pope. Have fun with the bone saw. Bop. Easy fight. Easy fight. Praise the Lord! The bone saw's here. It will solve all of our problems. So easy. We got the Pope's pelvis and a fake Pope hat. <gasps> a new hat. Plus two moxie, plus two armor. Plus four moxie, snake skin hat bands. Oh, that's right, I had the hat band on there, which gave it the moxie. I'm losing two moxie this way, but it's probably fine. 
If I can find and skin another snake, we'll solve the problem. Plus two musicality, plus two speed, or plus one muscle, plus one musicality, plus one moxie. Makes you feel like you'd be in two places at once. I don't know, I guess I'll keep that one. Yeah, I'm not losing Moxie to Goblin Trousers. Easy peasy. Now that I realize we can insta-kill a skeleton, fuck you. Ready? Pop! Grizzly Carson gets spooked. That was a lot of spooking. Two down. Man, fighting skeletons is great. We should only ever spike skeletons. Heal yourself. Physician, heal thyself. Just wildly overpowered. Alice, if you would be so kind. I want to only fight skeletons. Skull chips, handful of loose teeth. Empty. How curious. Ooh, 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 whoops. A little aggressively walked outside by mistake. Pelvis. Finger bone. You like the skull. Sister Mary thanks you profusely. <gasps> you recovered all the relics! Praise be! Praise be! I'm glad to have helped, sister. I must reward you for your efforts, though. We don't have much, but take these nun boots! Thank, thank you. Got high tail and boots. Plus one AP, plus two speed. Plus one AP, plus three moxie. Yeah, sure, I'll put on them. Nun boots? I'm. Cowboy Pope, after all. Big Apple. Pass by an abandoned campsite, and an old crate catches your eye. On closer inspection, you find it's nailed shut. Maybe the campers used it to sit on and then forgot to take it with them. Their loss is your game. You have a crowbar. Open it. You got a full canteen, a lasso, smelling salts, and nerve pills. So the delicious meats inside. As you reach the center of the clearing, you're simultaneously struck with a profound awe and a terrible stench as you discover the largest road apple you've ever seen. You can't even imagine how this got here. Was it a giant horse? Was it 200 normal sized horses acting collaboratively? They. they should have sent a poet. Yeah, they should have. Well, clean it up! Muscle level 6. Keep digging. Almost gone now. What the fuck was that noise? <laughs> One additional action point when used in combat. Well, we're done here. In a devastated cornfield off to the side of the trail, you find a similarly devastated scarecrow. Its shirt untucked, its hat knocked off. 
Don't even get me started in the state of its ascot. Fix it up. Moxie level 9. Anyway, make the Scarecrow look mostly presentable. It's important to look your best at all times. You never know when a famous, cow, a famous crow might show up. Where's all the goddamn piles of hay? I need needles! You walk into the mill millinery and find five bandits lounging around a big pile of half-made hats. It's the law! Skedaddle! The bandits scatter like cockroaches, each shutting themselves behind a different door. Guess you'll have to wrangle them individually. Filthy patch of floors covered by hats. All the brims. Apparently the demo model for a player piano showroom. It's only got three songs in it. They're all children's versions of traditional songs, and they're in the recently invented public domain. And they're all set up to play just the first few seconds in a loop. The people who worked here must have hated it. What song do you want to set the dial to? Yellow Rose of Public Domain? My Old Public Domain Home? Public Domain Joe? <laughs> you changed the song of the piano. Is that whistling you hear? Ugh. My old public domain home. The yellow rose of public domain. <laughs> it's horrible. Is this where they're hiding? Jacques! I'm gonna accuse this one. You son of a bitch. Oh no, he's back! Shakus. That's right. <laughs> Sweet Jesus. Squatches. Okay. Oh, Shakus. It's right. Shakus! <laughs> Poop toucher. Shakus. That's goddamn right. Okay. Okay. Damn. Maybe a different song. You! It just took a while. You found all the bandits. Deal with them! Turn them in. Could have been ruthless and murdered them. Where'd you find them? The old millinery? 
Yep. Of course. You know, bandits be a lot harder to find if they didn't keep picking such thematic items for some reason. Anyway, here's your reward. On a day's work. I am the law. Alright, I already got this one. The Gherkin Brothers for kidnapping, bride and kidnapped victims, attempted the sale of human flesh for consumption? Old abandoned pickle factory. Can't let these dastardly criminals escape justice. Would it be kosher? Oh, I've got, I've got a room rented. Don't you worry. Just a whole bunch of dynamite. Alright, can't fix the piano yet, I don't think. But stats have gone up, let's check. Yes, Mr. Caldy's up. Let's see what's wrong. You recalibrate some springs and rearrange some gears, and the machinery inside starts operating smoothly. The music improves. You're welcome. Howdy, Grizzly! Anything I can get you? Howdy, Lloyd. Fix that piano for you. I thought so. We sound so much better. Thanks a heap, Grizzly. I'd offer you a free room in exchange. We already bought one. Hey, no worries, Lloyd. Heard you had something interesting back there. I'm uh, not sure what you're talking about. Uh, maybe my info is too old. I found a note for some travelers that passed through about eight years ago. Ah, uh, yeah, that'd be the previous bartender. He had a little trick he used to offer to show people. That's what got him fired. Eventually, that senator's wife wasn't amused. He runs around to the bar for a minute, then blows the dust off a tiny piano, about nine inches tall. <laughs> Here, keep the piano. As long as you don't ask me about the trick. <laughs> Wait, do you imply what I think you're implying? Mitch Piano be the right size for a foot-tall tickler of the ivories, but the winding key on the side seems to indicate that it plays itself. We'll have to crank and the piano starts tinkling merrily. So merry, so tinkly. Nice view from up here. Postcard? Blank postcard. You dream that you're painting a self-portrait on a deserted island. Suddenly you get a fist fight with your father. You wake up drenched and set. <laughs> well, okay then. Refreshed and restored and hungry and sober. Let's mosey. Doodle doodle doo. Uh, am I forgetting anything? Alice says you should get that pepper the chef of Dirtwater wants. He said it grows just outside of town. Oh yeah, just wander around outside. Alright, thanks. Oh god! I'm stuck in the stagecoach! Guy looks like he's in a lot of pain. You okay, buddy? I'm pretty sure I broke my leg. Oh, so no! What happened? Traffic accident? No, it just sort of broke all of a sudden. I guess I don't got enough vitamins or whatever. Good nutrition can be difficult in this day and age. My leg! I'm gonna need some medicine for this. Can you help me? Thank you. There's a mission up north. The nuns there run a little hospital and sell medical supplies. Give me some broken leg pills. Broken leg pills? that a thing? Yes, that's a thing. Don't have any with me, though. All right, coming up. How do you wander around outside? Wander! There we go. Catch a whiff of something that makes your eyes water. Trace it to its source. A vividly colored... Oh my god. Vividly colored red shape hanging from a scraggly little plant. Must be the southeast western murder pepper that feller at the jewel was looking for. Grab it up. Your finger and thumb immediately start throbbing as you pluck the pepper. You toss it in your rucksack before it could do any more damage. Hot! 
Got to go to that old mission now. Place I've already been, but now we're getting a new thing. Well, here's an unusual sight. An old boat out of the middle of the desert. If this were a beach, you'd call it beach, but you can't call it because... <laughs> but you can call it deserted. Because there's someone on it. That someone is a skeleton wearing a helmet with horns on it. She looks pretty bored and is idly pushing... Polishing the dragon-headed prow of her ship. You think maybe she's been here for a very, very long time. Pickpocket skeleton. That's, well, unlikely. I mean, she isn't actually wearing any clothes except maybe some rags? And they aren't going to have intact pockets. And anyway, what would a skeleton have their pockets worth stealing? What are you doing? You're, you're doing it anyway? Okay, I have no idea how you managed to do this. But you steal the skeleton's gold tooth, as I'm noticing. Nice. I need pills. <clears throat> Other none. I need pills. Is this the wrong mission? This might be the wrong mission. Oh, the rescue mission. That's what we need to go to. A shot rings out and something buzzes past your ear. You quickly dive behind a rock just in case those two things are connected and not just say some random <laughs> someone hunting nearby and also there's a bee peering carefully around your rock you eventually spot movement in the underbrush it's a hunter with an old-fashioned matchlock rifle and a cloak with leaves stuck to it which is less effective as camouflage than it sounds because all the trees around here are pine trees you also know that she's been out here for a very long time which you can infer from the fact that she's literally a skeleton attack her i think i'm going to win this encounter it's just a hunch i have My hunch was accurate. Cargo jeans. Plus four pistol attack damage. As opposed to spell damage, which I do not have. I do not have magic. I am a snake oiler. Gosh, a real life nun. Yes, I'm Sister Tapitha. I'm Grizzly Carson. What's with the cots? Oh, I should look at the postcard. Well, with the cows attack and so on, I felt my faith would be better served by running this place as a clinic rather than just a church. I also serve medicinal, med medicinal supplies if you'd like your healing to go. Uh, can I have any medical supplies? Laudanum. Any errands you need done? Funny you should ask, I've been experimenting with the healing properties of a purple grass that grows around here, but I've run out. Would you mind picking some for me? It grows near a cave that makes an unusual humming sound. You got it. But first... A rustling sound in the bushes draws your attention, and you decide to investigate, because that's what adventurers do. No matter how bad of an idea it might turn out to be. Rustling turns out to be a goblin. A goblin wearing, ugh, clown makeup and practicing their cartwheels. Mostly failing. Eventually, they give up on tumbling and start repeatedly throwing a shiny metal ball in the air and trying to catch it. Hello? Hello? Hi! What are you, uh... What are you doing? I'm learning to juggle! Tosses a single ball in the air and again, catches it. But it misses, so it doesn't catch. Okay, but why? A clown becoming a joining circus, far away traveling! Far, far to traveling, and then to popping. Uh, popping? Never mind. If a goblin that is also a cloud is absolutely the last thing you want to deal with right now, I respect that decision. He's not hurting anyone. No entry. Real jail. A guy shouts, visiting hours are over, and runs over to stop you. Hostels on vacation right now. Place condemned. Not safe to go in there. Don't go in there. The house is haunted. Ben looks distraught. What's the matter, buddy? I lost my belt buckle. Did you look near the hostler? Oh, good idea. I'll look there. 
You duck into the outhouse to plan your next move. While you're pondering, you know something weird. The outhouse has a back door. Leave through the back door. <laughs> Hefty load. Back in the jail. Turns out it's just flat plywood. Ropes are holding this thing up. They're not looking very strong. Probably knock it over pretty easy. Hold off to just the right moment. <laughs> Ow. Doesn't seem safe at all. So one, two. Want me to touch that cactus a few more times? No. You got a perk mostly scabs. I've touched a lot of these things. <coughs> I only took one more tug, uh, one more poke. All right, the jail and two over from where we are. One. Two. Flash my buckle. Check near the jail. Ropes are holding back. Oh, it's not the right moment. I guess I want all three of them in front of this building. You know, really, I want all three of them in front of the genuine TNT and sandwiches shop. Blowing people up is more fun. Sandwich shop. Leave me alone! Damn it. Uh, just move you away. Can I not get all of them at the same time? Alright, she didn't move then. As long as we just walk up to her, we should be able to move her one by one. Yes, good. Yes. A little closer now. You look like you want to be in front of the sandwich shop, my friend. All three next to the sandwich shop. How convenient. It'd be a real shame if something were to happen. <laughs> Good thing I have that ruthless perk. Last remains of the Potemkin gang. The remains of the Potemkin game. Yep. Not everyone has to go to jail. <laughs> Not a very big boom. I was kind of hoping for a larger explosion. To Fort Aldead! You find an abandoned crate with Fort Aldead stencil on the side. Maybe the shippers decide it wasn't worth the effort. You pry the lid off and you find a field trauma kit and military grade whiskey. Hmm. Oh, nice view from up here. He doesn't seem to notice you. Pardon me, excuse me. Oh, no way. Now it's up some stench resistance. Say no more, say no more. Old patrol cat. Need that porcelain cow. Pistol attack damage. My Pope hat gives me moxie and armor, though. Turlet pistol. <laughs> 